Hi guys, and we are sitting in front of Harlow, the new train station that we have built but not quite hooked up onto the network yet. The chonky boy, the large one, the excessively grand boy. So Harlow is basically just going to be building back up to where it was before the culling, which is lit. Um, I will never do that again. I apologise. Um, so yeah, Harlow's going to be building back up to where it was beforehand. Uh, we could extend the main line. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm literally, I've still got that mindset of, do we have the money for it? Uh, it's 1910, I have new trains. We're not playing on even medium mode, we're playing easy mode on this thing. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. So hang on, is that? following like a- no, it's not following like an inner ring, but it's sort of making the inner ring, which is nice. That's nice. That's nice though. Yes, yeah, so, the roof, constru uh, roof construction here at Harlow is, um, we have these small arch overall roofs. Ooh, they're sort of eating the overpass, oh well, um, at the ends of the mainline tracks, and in the middle where we have these crossovers, we are going, or we went for a big overall roof, and it is the Chonky Boy, it looks almost Victorian in its grandeur, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, modern Dutch station with, um, oh, yeah, <laughs> in 1910. Don't ask. Actually, it's just because it's the mod. It's just the mod. I like the Dutch station mod because it has the, like, it has high platforms. Which is very nice. Ooh, that's a bit ugly, the way that sort of just plops. I'm going to take that back a bit, just so that I can get a better sort of connecting swoop. Catenary? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. We will be electrifying. I do actually want to get quite a, a move on when it comes to electrification. But, not now. I want to electrify around 1935. Because that's when you start getting more electric trains, but then, because we've only started electrifying in 1935, we'll have time to run the big, the big boy steam engines. The big Pacifics. Which is, like, amazing. Also, can we just agree that running electric trains along this is going to look awesome. I'm sort of into that 25 kilovolt wire aesthetic, don't even judge me right now. Right. Signals! We're still on semaphore signals. It's gonna be such a pain to replace all the semaphore signals with the... Ugh, with the light signals. I... no, I dread that every single time having to replace the semaphores with light signals. It's not because they look worse. Um, it's just a case of... that takes forever. Although, actually, I might skip light signals in terms of, like, replacing the existing signals. I might skip that and go and wait for Angier's um, in-cab signalling to come in. And, of course, it's like, he hasn't done a signalling system, because the signalling system in the game is pretty basic. It doesn't make a difference whether it's in-cab or not. But it's like, just a model of like a track circuit, rather than a signal. But it works just like a signal does in this game anyway. Right, tracks. Alright, No. There we go. Harlow is uh, finished. 
Well, Hollow is connected up. I just need to actually get it put on the main line. Manage vehicles. No, not vehicles. Wow, I actually clicked that. I'm not even surprised anymore. I'm not even surprised anymore. I'm not even surprised anymore. I you didn't think so. Ooh, we're right hand running. No attack. Nine danker. Left hand running. <laughs> Cause we in England. Or Japan. I think they're left hand running in Japan. But they're definitely left hand running on the Shinkansen. But there's a lot of differences between the Shinkansen and the um, the mainline trains. Mainly the mainline trains are more interesting. Don't even lay at me on that. Uh, I want to put more trains on it. I want to put more trains on it. Clone all of them. Thank. I know we have issues at Warwick, but I want more trains. And I can afford it. Like, that barely touched our bank account. 28 million, yeah. That's like nothing. And we- oh! Wow! Uh, Sundown, how's Sundown doing? Sundown is in a position to grow. Uh, home bay. Is not in a position to grow. What happened there? It might be because of the good service. Like maybe Hanbei's not getting like the, deliver the delivery quick enough for its liking. Suthold is in a position to six hundred. How's Andover doing? Andover is is Suthold our biggest town? I think so, and I like that road. I like that road, and we have buses going on it. Oh, that's so nice. <gasps> Satisfying delivery train. Okay, yeah, the coke I opened at the start of the episode. I haven't poured it yet. Coke noises. Coke noises. Coke noises. Oh. Coke noises. I move my the coke can onto my PC. There we go. Eight point nine million. 8.9 chameleon. Boom! 648. Oh, that's brilliant, that. That is brilliant. Right. So, the reason that Harlow is such a gigantic station for 1910 is that um, we're going to have Harlow be like a junction. Harlow is going to become big. And the first branch line that we're going to build from it will be... It'll, so, the first branch line will follow the main line to here, This to just be on this quarry, just beyond Bishop Auckland. And it's going to come across here, cut over this road, and about here, join this secondary... I'm going to call it a secondary route, so you're going to have this sort of just a, a secondary route linking with this secondary route and there's going to be trains and they're going to come across and they're going to go to Wigan uh, are they? Mm, or how about if they came off hmm or how about I serve Westerham 
before. Wait, no, my plan was to eventually get trains into uh, Lakenstone because Lakenstone hates me. Um. That I'm gonna have to get back to you on. But the first stop, yeah, no, I'm gonna take the Lakenstone route, and the first stop, therefore, is Egham. Uh, doop. One of my friends lives in southwest London. I haven't told him that there's a place on my transport food map called Egham yet. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him if, if like he wants me to rename it to like Chiswick or something. Because like Egham isn't that big of a place. Egham's pretty small. I think. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put the station, like squeeze it, between these two roads. Okay, junction splitting of routes? No. Not, at least not in the vicinity of the station. In that direction. However, these people, yeah, your lives, no, forfeit, yeah. Should have seen it coming. I'm doing train things. Everything is forfeit when I'm doing train things. Oh, easily squeeze it in there. So, I'm gonna ha- No catenary! Oh, oh, wow. Imagine being able to touch type. Uh, do I spare these people? No, because I'm going to put bigger station buildings on that side. So. There we go. That's actually way off kilter. Ew. Ew. Actually, no. I, I deserve to be punished for that. There we go. Lovely straight piece of engineering. Brunel would not be proud at all. Brunel is rolling in his grave. Ooh, that's a nice um, thing. Okay, so. From Wensbury, ah, there's a little cutting there that we can cut through. Nice. It's not really a cutting if it's not man-made, is it? A natural gash in the terrain. There we go. Yeah, they're a bit off, but eh. I'm going to follow along the side of here. There we go. Because that is going to be stylish. I mean, who wouldn't want to see uh, passenger trains whizzing by at 75 miles an hour while they're making goods? And yes, I will have the least profitable station on our network, uh, the least used station on our network, oh my god! Uh, when the railways get there, at Redka uh, Steel, which of course I'm going to call Redka British Steel. Okay, where are we aiming for uh, at Wensbury? This side of Wensbury. Let's put a station there to mark it. Uh, any junctions? I'm gonna do it with two stations, don't even. So, 
So at Wensbury first station, it's going to go there. In before, this is the complete wrong. No, this is the right track. Wow. You've just seen me not be as stupid. Ooh, yay. Dandy Road. And there we go. So yes, the station here, on that side of uh, Wensbury, Wow. This isn't going to be beautiful. However, what it is going to be is mildly cheeky. Oh, never mind what I said about not being beautiful. Um, beauty, uh, yeah, this has the potential to be a lot of it. Bing. Okay. Bing. It's wiggly. But with that, we're getting there. We have a hilly map. I mean, it's going to look gorgeous with electrification, though. Because when you get the electric trains and the multiple units, and they get the... Yes, basically. Buildings, and I think I'm gonna stop it. Need to know it. I think I'm gonna stop it. Need the willows for now. So, uh, new nope. tracks. Yeah. I'm gonna no. Nah, nah. They had the sort of kink in the what's it, and no. These what's it's are not going to be kinky. No level of kinkitude is acceptable for these what's it's. That's better. I need 35 miles an hour, seems fine. Right. So I'm just gonna instigate normal. Instigate? Is that a word? Yeah. I know it's a word, I've probably used it the correct way numerous times in my life. Um, actually I don't think I have. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put in normal block signalling and I'm not gonna do anything to protect that junction. The block signalling will protect the junction itself. 
it will protect the junction just by being block signaling. So yeah, that's my plan for that, and it means I don't have any signaling complicate uh, like complications during um, line extension because I've already got my block signaling. Okay, so we're coming out of Wensbury, and then we have Egham and um, Harpenden, which is like there. Lit. Oh, of course, we have the brunt, the potential branch line to Camelford and Red Hill. Although Red Hill is going to be awkward. And then about there. And then about. There. And then protect. 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 Oh. Protect. There we go. <clears throat> and now we have almost our train line to put the service in from Harlow to Newton Lower Lowe's. Almost. We are so close. All we have to do is put the linking connector in like that. And then we're done. So, let's do that, shall we? about there. Yes, that shall do. Bonk. Um, I don't think I raised it quick enough. You see, I am pretty prepared to just go with a level crossing, because I can change it later. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just put a level crossing in for now. Unless, I just had a viaduct for it. Ooh, you know what? I enjoy that. I'm enjoying that aesthetic. That's an aesthetic I'm enjoying. Good. Here we go. Oh, that viaduct. Love it. So let's bring that. Uh, oop, alongside there. There we go. And then we can just build this straight along, like. Jeez. That's laggy. Okay, but can we admire this viaduct just a little more? Ooh, it's so pretty! <laughs> Boop! There we go. Now. Oh good, Harlow is in range of a buttload. 
Jesus! Harlow is really taking to the trains. Which is good, because it's about to get a buttload more. Right. Signaling. Doop doop. Again, the junction here is going to protect itself. This is just a secondary line. So there aren't really going to be many trains in there. I think I might just have a few sets of signals here to protect the junctions at either end and then form a block in the middle. There we go. That seems about right. So, new line. And we're gonna st ooh. What platform do we come out of Harlow? Ooh, interesting choices. Ooh, choices, 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 choices. I think I'm gonna come out of this one for now. Streets. No. Track. There we go. Just wiggling. I did not want that to happen. Oh well. So what we're going to have now is a new line. A new green railway line. That's nice. Harlow. Bishop Auckland. Hoppenden. Eggham, Wensbury, Newton Le Willows, Wensbury, Eggham, Harpendine, Bishop Auckland, and Achlo. Okay, so Bishop Auckland, we need platform one. Uh, Harpenden, is, does that make it the right way around for all of the notes? It, it do. It do. No, it. When. And. When. And. Do. There we go. And this one, uh, R, R. Okay, regional rail, of course. R R, and then it's just sort of end to end. So this one is Harlow to Newton of the Willows. I say Harlow to Newton for now. Uh, do we have a depot en route? E a train depot facing that way. I mean, it's not en route, but it's close enough. Steam. What do we have down at this end? Ooh, we have the Atlantic with the big boiler. Yes. Uh, Passage. Uh, these carry 16. These carry 22. I'm going to go for these. And I'm gonna buy three of them. And they are going to go on the new one. Ooh. Freight trains. Freight trains make me happy. And then we get to see the new large boiler IVAT Atlantics. IVAT Atlantic. Oh, look at that. 
I would like to do those less smoke so that I could, like, see the train, but, like... Oh, he looks good. He looks happy. And look at that big chonky boiler. As things should be. Big and chonky. Okay, yeah, let's take a uh, quick cab ride up to... Uh, on this empty stop move to Harlem. See how fast we get up to. Well, what speed we get up to. That was really bad grammar. Ah. This game just looks really good. Like, not even like... Gee, like, seriously, this game looks so good. This game, like, can I say it again? This game looks amazing. YouTube compression algorithm probably hates me right now, but, like, this game... Oh dear. Yawning. I'm recording this like two hours earlier than I normally do. I do not even. This is not right. This is not natural. Oh, this one's not even going the right way. This one's going to Harpenden. The one behind us. You're also going to Harpenden. We're behind that. Harpenden. Side face. It's the only way I'll be able to see something that's going to Harlow is just to wait at Bishop Auckland for one to turn up going the right way. Or just scour the main line. Or are they all going that way now? They're all going that way. Why are they bunched up? Oh yeah, it's because I put a bunch of new ones on. Oh, that's, that's one of the new, not mainline trains, that's bigger than the mainline trains. Sometimes you need to make up for a less frequent service, you know? How is Harlow doing? Harlow? Ooh, wow, people want the Newton train. People, people of Harlow are really taking to the train. That's, that's good. That's really good. Um, hmm. Where else can I go now? Now that we're taking the main line to Marston Mauritane. That's, that's a given. <sighs> oh, that's a thing. Will they even fit in the platform? You're one of the big boys. Train 9, it's already on its way to Wensbury. Okay. Uh, what freight does Harlow want? Conmats. Oh, yes. Harlow wants Conmats. You know what that means. More mainline freight. More mainline freight. Well, if you know what that means, I'm probably going to need another platform. This is true. That is very true. I'm going to need another platform. Do I care? No. New line. Beep. Oh. I haven't put the freight station in at Harlow yet. Uh, let's do the fly of shame, the flight of shame, over to Harlow. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the freight station into Harlow, sunken down. So we're going to have one of those, and it's going to be that, and that, and no catenary. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's going to be sunken, so it's going to go down. Because I want, when I come out of Harlow... Ah! <laughs> Ooh, we have the New Atlantic, the Great Western Railway Mogul. Oh, just when I needed a mogul, a mogul appears. That's nice. And then some Austrian Express thing, which I probably don't need for a little while. Oh, looks like I won't need to put it down that much. Lit. Okay, so my plan here... Nope, not boats. Trains, but not those. Tra trains, yes. Oh dear. Ooh! Okay, so, that's gross. I'm aware. And, yeah, I'm aware I just deleted, like, the important bit, but, you know, eh. But we're gonna pull this off. Sort of like that. Yeah, like that. And then, boopity boopity boop, boop. Uh, it's ugly. It's really ugly, actually. This road is gross. Good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the road straight back, but we're gonna have our bridge. Just a little viaduct. How many do I need to... Ooh. The lowest one that gives me a bridge. There we go. Granite bridge. Love it. I mean, I don't know how much I love it, but I love it because it's made it, like, a little better. Right. So, first step is to connect that to road system. Boop. Check the range. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need truck drop-offs. Uh, one truck drop-off. Here, that should cover it. Good, and I'm gonna go for zero, and it's gonna be 20 meters long. Oh, look at the beauteousness. I can nestle that in, right there. Oop. Oh, that looks great. Okay, then, new line. Con mat delivery. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna rename this one. Con mat delivery child now. There we go. New line, and it's just gonna be bits, bits, just between those two and back again. And whatever colour that is, I'm going to go with it. Go 
Bomb Act Delivery Harlow. New line. Pyre of Construction. Oh jeez, what's it called? Ah. Oh no, the delivery of the freight, like, shipment lines, final stage, is just the towns. Uh, Pyre of Construction, Harlow. Follow the main line across. Beep. Beep. Oh, you know it's gonna help here. Double slipping that switch. Good. Okay, let's see how much havoc this wreaks. In fact, I'm not even going to, like, chance it by putting lots of trains. I'm going to literally give it one train, but it's going to be huge. So the new mogul we unlocked, this one, 800-114, okay, compared with 900, 102, but this engine is a lot smaller. It's, it's, it's only about four tons lighter. Oh well. We're, well, basically, we're going to have two of them. There we go. Uh, cargo. Oh no, we need steak wagons, don't we? Yeah. Eight. Oh no, wait, that's not our. Bit. That's a. That's the good boy. Two hundred and thirty-two meters. I mean, we're still at mediocre, so this is fine. Two hundred and eighty-eight capacity. I think that's going to be enough. Oh. Oh. oh, you can see, wow, oh, you can, you can look in the depot, oh, look at the grey, I'm sorry GWR fans, but grey looks amazing on your engines, wait, we're waiting for a free part, oh, it's the branch line, of course, it's the branch line. It's always the branch line. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> oh no, it's because of the what's it do? Yeah, it's a main line. Mm hmm. Got it. Yes, there we go. Ooh, she. This thing makes me happy. Yeah, it's about the same performance as our, um, Southold uh, Conmat train, only like it's still coming out of the depth. Oh, there's the back of it. Like, only it's this long. I do like these GWR moguls though. I'm going to end up using them a lot because the GWR moguls are very good trains. They are very good. Oh, and you can hear both of the engines going at the same time, but they're like slightly off beat. So they don't do that weird thing. 
That's good. Ooh, it's like a snake. Ooh! Oh yeah, JK does weird, like, views. Okay, so yeah, let's just move. Oh, heck! This is the front view. But then, where... Am I high? I don't know. Oh jeez, 42 miles an hour up from there, that's pretty good going. It's like the longest train on our network. Also, look at that steam! The steam is, looks so good. JK is one of the best modders. I'd say in the community, like JK and RGA, they're the I think they're the best for their period, in like you know the period in which they like to model. RGA he likes, or it seems that they, sorry they seem to like more modern, hyper modern like high speed multiple units, whereas JK likes modeling the Great Western, like you know Great Western steam era and stuff. And like, you know, I really, I really, I, I like both. And this looks amazing. Listen to that GWR noise. I don't know if you can hear it very well actually, because I turned my because uh, I turned the game sound down to like a third of my mic, like a third of my mic's volume. I don't know. I end up just turning it all up in my editor anyway for like when I remember. I've done it for, like two episodes so far. Oh yeah, it's 10 p.m. Yeah, it's 10 p.m. Every, uh, everyone in my house is going out to see um, the SpaceX thing that you're supposed to be able to see tonight. Uh, last night, for those watching on the day of upload. We're slowed to 35 miles an hour still because of this train on the crossover. Oh, that's great. And then is there anything waiting? There's eight. Well, let's see how much eight makes. 8 isn't even a 24th of what this train can carry. I would like more field of view in this mode. Thank JK. <laughs> Although this... Ooh. I do like this. There is something about the GWR design scheme. It just looks like GWR engines just look so good. And these moguls, they look great. Being caught up by a passenger train. Oh, oh we, we had to wait to join the. Oh no, we slowed down for the junction, weren't we?
we should... No, we won't beat that to Harlow. Provided it gets a regular on. Yep. That is going to beat us to Harlow. Because here is where it overtakes us. I mean, I would say I don't think that British steam trains emit that much, but uh, you never know, the Great Western was pretty different to the rest of the country. This is a very quiet episode. I guess I'm just not feeling that talkative at the moment. I go through stages and like, they happen very, very frequently and like irregularly and I'm confused by them as well. But like, sometimes I'll be really talkative and chatty. You can hear that in the video, like sometimes I'll just keep going on and on and on and on and on. But then sometimes like, there'll just be big periods where I'm just quiet. Oh wow, look, we overhang really a lot at Andover. Look at the in awe at the size of this boy. That's the episode title. Right there. So yes. We're passing Corby now. Corby is the one with the weird station. It's sort of reminiscent of denim. Oh, we have new trucks. A Ben's tarpaulin truck. It does 25 miles an hour. That's not bad. Not bad going. At all. Ah, uh, we have a log jam at Bishop Auckland. No way. The AI just put a road in there. Oh. Oh yes. I agree with the Bishop Auckland wants Cottonmax as well. Yeah, I'm gonna need to set up I'm gonna need to make that mainline four track, like right now.
Let's go on a cab ride of what we have achieved with the hollow line. Ooh, that's a wiggle that I did not like. This line is full of gradient wiggles. Wow, this line is really uppy downy. It felt really flat when I was building it. Mixed feelings. But now we're on the freight line. Okay, how much does eight make us? Remember, eight. We can carry, like, a lot more than that. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, let's go all the way back over here. Jeez, that is probably the longest journey that is possible to make. Uh, Harlow, 32. Harold and Harlow are on the same platform. Hern Bay and Corby are on the same platform. That was a sort old one. Which just opened the platform up for goodness. Oh! That's maxed. Um Lit. Lit. Oh, actually, this this line isn't delivering fast enough. Uh, manage vehicles. Uh, modify. With like the biggest gondola, or even uh, these seven planks carry ten. The old gondolas carry twelve. This way is twenty tons. This weighs ten tons. I didn't even count. Oh. I guess I should put a depot on. Nah. Oh, they're great western wagons as well. I could put the mogul on. That would have just been too appropriate though, you know? Rate of delivery on that is 228. That's pretty lit. The rate of production on here is 400. Ooh, will you have to slow down? Ooh, at least not yet. Oh, lovely. Although he will have to wait there. How much do you make me? 1.3 million. 
considering it's just a supply line. Line statistic. Okay. Suffold is losing us the most money. Uh -huh. That used to be our biggest earner. That's sad. Um, our biggest earner now is the Corby one, which is just arriving now, I think. I think. No, it's a subtle train. Right, the main line, Cheltenham Corby, is our next biggest earner. Cheltenham, um, Cheltenham Harlow main line now. The Andover Suffolk line is pretty decent earner as well. <laughs> Where is the new one that we put in? The Harlow line. Oh, there it is. Harlow to Newton. Do these even go like into the station, like in the flat, into the platform at Harlow? Like, do they even fit? Because I have a very anxious feeling that they do not. Oh, they do barely. Oh, you know, I could have just gone into, like, that. They're 109 meters long, good. I think I have 120 meters? I think I have 120 meters, yeah. So basically, we can't have another coach on them. But, the length we have right now is just fine. Down the what's it? Right. So basically, my plans for Harlow. Let's, uh, let me check OBS. Okay. Wow. We're nearly done with the. Uh, we've nearly reached sort of the maximum I can record before my C drive fills up. Um, yeah. Basically, we. Um. Yeah. Oh, um, I haven't put any truck. Ow. Um, this should bump demand. Like, this will bump demand a lot. Eight, seven, yes. I'm gonna get three of them. And they're gonna go on Cotton Matt Harley. There we go. So they're just gonna be running around Harlow. And the goods from the train are going to be dropped off at the truck stop. And the trucks are gonna pick it up and they're gonna distribute it to the industries that want it. And then when the train comes in again, boom, and they're going to distribute it. So, uh, freight train. It, now the freight, the freight run is a very, very long route. I don't even know where it's gotten to. No, is it, you can tell that's not the right one because it's only got one engine on it. Single engine pleb. Ah, there it is. Double engine, clouds of smoke, 51.
51 on board. We're gonna have to see how that uh, pays off. Biddy 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 biddy. Jeez, we're taking that freight all the way over there. And we came from over there. The big brick. Why am I getting the lagitude? I do not appreciate the lagitude. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, so remember what I was saying? I don't know if I was saying this actually, uh, in video. But basically, it's like, I was talking about, like, either with friends or on a video, about Transport Fever being more of a network simulator than a business simulator in terms of what aspect of managing a transport company it focuses on. Like, it focuses more on making sure that your trains like, you know, you have to make sure your trains work more, like, and then make sure that your money is in order. And the money simulation is there, but it's like, is it? You know, it's sort of half there. In terms of, like, when you compare it with something like Railroad Tycoon. Um... But yeah, this main line is an example of what happens when you don't quite manage your network correctly. Basically, what's happened is we've only got two tracks, which means the slow freight train and the well, the slow freight trains and the fast passenger trains are interacting and they're getting slowed down by each other and it's not fun. And the sheer number of trains on the route as well just adds to this. Ooh. Condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. Oh, I'm in awe at this bridge. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, oh, that's a really sharp turn. Ooh. I mean, it works. Evidently. People follow. Emissions are fine. Uh, good supply is currently in. No. However, good supply will soon be. Yeah, maybe. That made 4 million just on those, like, 50. Oh, damn. None of them, none of it went to Conmat Delivery Harlow. That's depressing. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Uh, the map's getting away from me. We're an hour and ten minutes in to the video, or into the recording session. My E-Drive is praying that I stop. 
So I'm gonna find you. Hey, let me click on you. And we are going to take a train into Harlow to round off the video. So, I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of the Transport Fever 2. Goodbye.